Welcome to the Jonathan Miles Show, the only news show on the internet. I'm your host, Jonathan Miles. Let's get to it. Thank you, DJ. DJ Jose is back. No more cold, right, DJ? High five. Luckily, nobody could see that we totally missed that high five. Anyway, let's get to the news, shall we? Our top story today, the GOP, grand old party, won in reversing Obama-era rules on guns, the environment, and the internet. Good for them. More than a dozen regulations have been undone, which is great news for anyone who believes that corporations, just like people, always do the right thing. Never break the rules, never do anything unethical, should be fine. Should be fine. In, uh, I guess I'd call this capitalism news? In capitalism news, China pledges $124 billion, with a B, billion dollars for a new Silk Road as a champion of globalization, which is totally awesome. Good for China. Uh, the leaders are, and I quote, Covering for a path of peace, inclusiveness, and free trade, and abandoning old models based on rivalry and diplomatic power games. I don't know. Bob's laughing. <sighs> Moving on. In sports. Sorry. In car racing. Still not a sport. Danica Patrick. Joey Logano. And Arik Almarola were in a violent, fiery crash in Kansas yesterday. I would show you the video, but I don't have rights to it. So if you get a chance, look that up. Unfortunately, everyone involved, they all survived and are still in Kansas. As we all know, the only thing worse, or the only thing better than being in Kansas, is being dead. <coughs> Damn, that's cold. In entertainment, fashion designer Carolina Herrera's nephew found dead inside truck in Caracas. Well, that wasn't very entertaining at all. Today's sponsors, very short episode today. We only need two of them. Uh, first, Big is back because bigger is better. The all-new 6,000 SUX, an American tradition. I'll buy that for a dollar. And also, Victory Gin, a double good drink from your friends at Big Brother. Remember, war is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength. And that brings us to today's holidays. Uh, first and foremost, a happy Mother's Day to my mother, my mother's mother, and all the other mothers out there. You know who you are, because you have kids. It's a tough job, tough job. Doesn't pay enough, doesn't pay. Uh, don't know why I went into like a Daniel Day Lewis from There Will Be Blood. I drink it up, I drink up your Mother's Day. I'm an oil man, this is my son and partner, HW. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, um, it's also Jewish holiday, uh, Lag Boomer, Boomer? Lagbo Omer, a day of semi-morning uh, in which multiple Google searches gave me conflicting information. So, if you're a Jew, you know what that means, and you know how to pronounce it, but I don't. It's also Buttermilk Biscuit Day, so, uh, <coughs> get out there and eat buttermilk biscuits. Bob, edit that cough out and post, please. You only edit the, um... The cards, you don't edit, foot okay, well I'll get, I guess I need a video, video editor to edit out me mispronouncing video. It's also Dance Like a Chicken Day, so you know, a lot of that stuff. The polka fans will be happy about that. Uh, it's Underground America Day, I'm not sure what that means, is that like the underground economy? I don't know, so sell, sell some drugs and your body, apparently. Uh, it's also National Veal Band Day. Banning veal? 
I used to not eat veal. And I realized like, don't the babies, the baby cows have it better than like the older cows? If you're gonna not eat any cow, wouldn't it be like the older ones? Because they're the ones who have to be in the cages longer. I don't know. Cows suffer for our delicious steaks. That's not a, that, if that was a sponsor, that would be a good slogan. It's also Stars and Stripes Forever Day. Yeah, America. And it's also Mothers at the Wall Day, which I couldn't find a, uh, I couldn't find a meaning for that. I just saw, it was like a picture of the Vietnam Memorial. So I'm assuming it's a holiday about mothers who lost kids in a war. Very sad. Um, that's, that's what I'm assuming. Because when I looked it up, all I got was the song Mother by Pink Floyd. Good song. But not really a Mother's Day song. No, not really. Okay. That's our show. Thanks for watching. And as always, love yourself, yourself, and each other. All right, what do we got? Play me out, DJ. Like, comment, subscribe, share this shit. If you want to help me pay off all my debts. Happy Mother's Day.